do you watch Russell from your position at all, or what are you doing when the offense is out there on the field? Uh, no, you definitely, I mean, you try to go back to the sidelines and, and you look over the plays that you, uh, you know, you had in the series that you were in. But once you're done with that, you, you kind of get up and you want to support the, the offense. And, you know, you get a chance to, to watch Russell do some of the amazing things that he was doing. And, and uh, you know, it's just crazy when we're in those positions where it's fourth quarter or uh, overtime. We have so much confidence in him and his ability to make plays because, you know, for myself and KJ, guys has been around and seen him do it for many years. Uh, it's kind of something that we've grown um, accustomed to because we know, you know, how much confidence that we have in him. And so it's kind of cool to see like the the younger guys or you know younger guys that haven't necessarily seen it, how they're you know kind of sitting on the edge of their seats and and we're kind of you know calm because because we've seen this uh, this. Uh, picture before well it's interesting too from my perspective Bobby since obviously I've been following this team since before Russell and you arrived and now that Russell used to be the young guy he used to be the young guy that everybody was depending on but maybe not as vocal uh, as everybody else in the locker room and representing the entire team in a way because there were so many other alpha males in the room Uh, I I wonder what your perspective of his change in role or his change in uh, anything, because this appears to be his team right now, Bobby. Um, I mean, he's always been a leader. Um, he's always been a leader. He's always led by, you know, led in the way that he felt uh, was the best. And, you know, that's what works for us. And, you know, like you said, we had a lot of uh, guys that were, uh, you know, alpha males, guys that are a little bit more outspoken and, and in your face than, than he may have was. But just because that was going on doesn't mean that he wasn't doing it things behind the scenes or uh, being the leader. And I think that's grown, especially as he's, you know, grown from not being the the young guy to being the the older guy and, um, you know, trying to get uh, guys to understand what does it take to be uh, a championship team. And, you know, he's done a great job in in leading the guys on that end. And, and, uh, you know, we're happy, you know what I'm saying. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.